Benvenuti, welcome. Today is our lezione numero 5. 5. Yay! I know that you had exams this week, but it's still lezione numero 5. Okay, come state? Bene. Molto bene. Molto bene. Ooh, molto bene. Così, così. Così, così. But Sara è ammalata. Oh, too sick. Yeah, so non sta molto bene. Instead of asking you um, come state, I could also say come va. Come va? Literally, it means how does it go. So it's, it's general. It doesn't matter if I'm talking to one person or more people at the time. Come va? Try to say it. Come va? Bene, 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 grazie. Che giorno è oggi? Che? Che? Giorno? Giorno? È? È? è. Oggi? Oggi? I'm asking you now. Oh, what did you say? Giovedì. So what did I ask? What day is it? Yeah. Oh. Che? Giovedì. Giorno? Giorno? È? È? Oggi. And Troy said giovedì. Oggi. È giovedì. Which number? Oh, uh, otto. 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 Otto di marzo. Yes, without D. We just say otto marzo. Otto. otto. What year? Due. 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 Oggi è la festa della donna. This is a long sentence. <laughs> so, oggi, oggi è, è un giorno, un giorno, giorno molto, molto importante. importante. What does it mean? Today's the day. Yeah. È la festa, è la festa, è la festa, della, festa della donna. Della donna. What day is it? The festival of the dawn. So, festa, depending on the contest, yeah, it, could be, it could be a party. <laughs> but in this case, it's a celebration or a holiday, yeah. Della donna. Women. International Women's Day. Oh, yeah. It's Women's Day! <laughs> eh? La festa della Della donna. Who wants to write donna? Bravissimo! Perfect. Perfetto. Donna. 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 Two N. Con due N. Donna. 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 Yes. So it's celebrated, well, everywhere around the world. It's the International, international Women's Day. And it's a day when we honor women and uh, well we try to remind ourselves that we need to make a constant action to keep equality and uh, to be fair in every aspect of life so i think it's really funny because in the u.s everybody's paying attention to equality but there isn't a big celebration for la festa della donna well in italy it's different since about 1945 we actually celebrate Women's Day. The conditions of women are worse in Italy than here, but we still celebrate la festa della donna. Today, if you were in Italy, every time you would meet a woman, you would say, auguri. 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 Literally it means wishes, but it's like felicitations. And you can use it in every context. It's not just for Women's Day. It's like, it's your birthday, auguri! New Year's Eve, auguri! <laughs> Christmas, auguri! Good. You graduate, auguri! Great. And then you can say specifically for this day, buona, buona. festa, festa, della donna. Yeah, della donna. Della donna. 
What does he mean? Happy holiday. Yeah, yes. So literally, it would mean good celebration of the woman, but in English, you would say happy women's day. Good. So try to say it all together. One, two, three. Buona festa della donna. At school, we learned that the origin of this day um, has the root in two events that happened outside Italy on the 8th of March. One happened on the 8th of March, 1857, and it was a strike of garment workers in New York, in the US. And, um, well, apparently, after these strikes, well, these strikes led to the foundation of uh, women uni unions. Now, I, I did a little bit of research, and according to some historians, this event never happened. So, is it true? Non lo so. Bo. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, let's try to, this, to read this. Marzo. This is difficult. Mille, ottocento, ottocento, cinquanta, cinquanta, sette, sette, mille, mille, ottocento, cinquanta, sette, mille, ottocento, cinquanta, sette. Ok? <laughs> And I told you that there was a strike. It's a very important word that you need to learn. Strike is sciopero. 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 With one with one T. Sciopero. 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 Yes. Yeah. Sciopero. Yeah. Um. Does the S H? I mean the S C mean the S H sound? Yes. It's the S C. I. That makes it she. Uh, she. This is she. She. But then there is a no, so it becomes shop. 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 And you need to know this word because if you travel to Italy, I'm like 99% sure that there will be some sort of shopero. <laughs> For example, lo shopero dei treni. What is it? The train strike? Yes. Yeah. Or some other sort of shopero. So it's good if you know this. Word. So I told you that there were two events that led to the choice of the 8th of March for uh, La Festa della Donna. This is the first event. Oops. Ah. The second one, it's again, it's another sciopero. This one, l'8 marzo. Mille, novecento, diciassette. And this sciopero uh, was uh, a sciopero in Russia, in St. Petersburg. So women were protesting because, well, it was a very hard period. There was the First World War, and then there was also the Russian Revolution going on. So there were a lot of deaths and there was lack of food. So they were making this sciopero per il pane e per la pace. Bread. So for bread, yes, and peace. So uno sciopero per il pane. What? <laughs> <laughs> e. <laughs> La pace. <laughs> yeah. So in Italy, we celebrate it in many different ways. But there are a lot of meetings, uh, um, of maybe discussions, public discussions. But then it's also nice because there is a traditional gift, a very simple gift that people um, give to women in their lives. And this gift is a flower called mimosa. It's a yellow flower. 
So it's a reminder that it's Women's Day, and also it's very nice because it makes you think, oh, it's spring, it's almost spring. <laughs> this is a stamp that the Italian post office made in the uh, occasion of the Festa della Donna last year. And this is the mimosa flower. It's nice, it's yellow, and it has a very sweet smell. It's a, a tree, un albero. Un albero. Un albero. And, and this tree is native of Australia. But uh, we grow it uh, in Italy. And particularly, the lot, there are a lot of mimosa trees in Liguria. 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 Do you know where Liguria is? So what I was telling you is that we, we grow a lot of mimosa in Liguria. By the way, in English, you would say acacia. It's a sort of acacia. Oh. It's a kind of acacia. OK. He's back. Where's the boat? So there is a, yeah, it okay. the other way? No, it's OK. We are missing Puglia. That's OK. Yes, yes, that's good. That's good. Oh, wait, there's yes, a part. And then we have the islands. Okay. Do you remember the name of our islands? Sicilia. <laughs> yes, Sicilia is here. So Sicilia. Sicilia. And Sardinia. Yes. And the region I was telling you about is called Liguria. And it's here. Ta-da! Li. Yeah. 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 So I've been talking a lot now, but it's your turn, guys. I'm also a spectator now. It's their turn. Ciao. Go de Yami. Ciao. Mi chiamo Troy. E tu? Mi chiami Anita. Come stai? Sto bene. Anch'io. 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 Da dove vieni? Vengo da New Jersey. E tu? Vengo da Massachusetts. Um, cosa ti piace? Mi piace il cibo. Okay, I'll stop you here for a second. Mi piace. Ce, ce, Mi, piace. Ce. Mi piace il, il cibo. <laughs> cosa ti piace? Anch'io um, mi piace il cibo. Ti piace uh, la pizza? Sì, sì, mi, pia mi piace la pizza con le salsicce. <laughs> con le salsicce. <laughs> so you said anch'io mi piace, but instead you should say anche a me anche piace. A me. Because the subject is the pizza, not you. Okay. It's, it's tricky. Okay. This is great. Okay. Um, mi piace la pizza con il prosciutto cotto. Oh, fame. Vuoi cucinare? Sì, allora, allora. Andiamo. <laughs> what, did, what did you understand? What did they say? The, the one thing you said you like doing. Yeah. Oh, I like oh. food. Mi piace il cibo. Il cibo. Yes, and that's food. So they introduced themselves, and they were saying where they come from. And then they started discussing about what they like. You said you like food. <laughs> I don't remember what you. I, I said I like food too. Do oh, you yes. Like pizza? <laughs> yes. Anche a me piace. Mm -hmm. Sì, anche a me piace il cibo. Then would you like pizza? And then you decided to go to cook together. Yeah. Andiamo. Let's go. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Oh, tati, come stati? Sto, sto bene. <laughs> e tu? Uh, molto. Uh, molto bene anche. Uh, Cosa state facendo uh, questa fine settimana? Studiando, dormendo, pocas cosas. Cucinando pizza veloce. <laughs> Ti piace cucinare con me? <laughs> sì, eccellente. Amo pizza. Io, uh, ci vorrei domani. Bo, sette? Sette. Bravissimo. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. What is this conversation about? They saw each other, they're like, oh, I'm doing well, you're doing well, yeah. What did you do this weekend? I slept and did you eat? No, oh, you cooked, you cooked. What are you doing this you weekend? You cooked 
What yeah. quick, oh, did you say what are you? What do you do this? Oh. Are you going to do this? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so sleep, <laughs> cook, quick pizza. Um, <laughs> um, what else did you say? Study. Um, <laughs> Study life. Most important life. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, this was great. Every Italian would understand. But uh, it was a mix of Spanish and Italian. <laughs> you say studio, not estudio. Uh, right? Studio. I see many of you are tend to say estudiare. <laughs> and everybody would understand. <laughs> and then uh, what do you say? Something um, con me? Con me. Si. Me, not me. Me. So for like, I am sleeping. Still si. dormendo? Oh, yes. Okay. Perfecto. Yes. So you use the verb stare. Sto. Dormendo. Dormendo. Dormendo is from the verb dormire. When it becomes dormendo, if I take the verb parlare to speak, tensing are, then it would become parlando. So today we are going to talk a little bit more than usual. I want you to try to talk about your typical day, uh, la giornata tipica. The typical day, la, la giornata, giornata tipica. 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 I know before you use giorno. Yes, so why? I was hoping that he would ask okay. this question. <laughs> so why are you don't say il giorno tipico? Well, il giorno tipico would be fine as well. Um, we use mostly the word, word giornata when uh, you want to describe the day as something that has a duration, while il giorno is just kind of a date. So for example, in, if I'm um, meeting you in the morning, I can say buongiorno, but then if I want to wish you have a good day, I would say buona giornata. La giornata tipica. Wants to, you don't have to speak Italian, you can make a mix of any language. <laughs> I don't speak Chinese, but <laughs> 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 try. <laughs> Mi sveglio. <laughs> Sveglio. Sveglio. It's reflexive. The verb svegliare. Mi sveglio. Mi sveglio. Go shower. Okay. Faccio. Faccio. La. Doccia. Faccio la doccia. Faccio la doccia. Yeah, so literally, faccio means yes, I do a shower. <laughs> Okay, but faccio la doccia. And we use the verb fare, from which we derive faccio, we use it in a lot of different contexts, so it's really useful. Faccio la doccia, <laughs> faccio colazione, colazione, colazione. Come si dice colazione in English? In inglese, inglese, breakfast. Oh, okay. I have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Then you said I brush my teeth. <laughs> mi, mi lavo i denti. I denti. So is this feminine, masculine, singular, plural? Masculine. <laughs> Plural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, i is the article for plural. I, denti. Mi sveglio. Faccio la giornata. Mi lavo i denti. I, denti. I, denti. Come si dice coffee in Italian? Caffè. 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 Caffè
con l'accento sulla E, caffè, e caffè. caffè, vado a scuola, vado a scuola, vado a scuola, 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 vado, vado, a, a, scuola, 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 scuola. Come vai a scuola? Che? Omnibus. Bicicletta. Sì, in bicicletta. Bicicletta. So, è a come vai a scuola. E ci sei in bus. A cavalgare. A cavallo. In bicicletta, per esempio. Per cammino. You can say cammino, cammino. or vado a piedi. And then, another couple of things that you would do in your giornata tipica? Studio. <laughs> Molto. <laughs> Troppo. Lesson or on? Ascolta. Ascolta e ripeto. Ascolta e scrivi e ripeto. Ascolto, scrivo e ripeto. Oh. Ascolto. Della musica. Musica. musica vado in palestra vado in palestra I go to the gym oh. you need to exercise guys you can just mangiare dormire <laughs> studiare basta 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 per mangiare Palestra. 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 It's a funny word, no? Palestra. Palestra. Vado in palestra. Good. And how about il fine settimana? Il fine settimana, what does it mean? The end of the week. Yeah? Yeah, il fine settimana, you say faccio festa. Sì. Ah, sì. I heard some dormo. Tutti il giorno. Tutto il giorno. Leggio. Leggo. Le leggo. Cucino. Cucino. Shopping. Shopping. Yeah! Faccio spese. Spese. Faccio spese. Spese. E ora mi va a sorte. Cosa è spese? spese. Or vado a fare la spesa. So it's a noun, plural noun, and uh, it means shopping. Yeah, shopping. It's not a verb. This is a noun. Okay. I usually use the washing machine, and what we say, we say faccio la lavatrice. 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 So you see, you can use the word faccio for a lot of different things. And a lot of times I get confused when I speak English. I tend to say I do the laundry. No, I do the, I do the washing machine. <laughs> so, no. But this is the meaning. You can just, okay, you, you're washing your clothes. Faccio. La, la lavatrice. La lavatrice. Hang out with friends. Hang out with friends. Okay. Esco. Esco. Con. Con. What do you say, friends? Amici. But I need an article. Esco would mean I go would mean I go out. Esco con chi? All right. How do you decide on the articles? Because there's there's a bell. La, le, il, i. So there are rules, and I wrote them in the blog. But it takes time to remember the rules. So the best thing is practice. But in this case, so singular would be. Amico. Plural is amici. It's masculine and it starts with a vowel. So for masculine plural, you have two options. E, 
or Li. Okay. Since it starts with the vowel, and you keep Li. But we've been talking a lot about food oh. and <laughs> Oh. But in Italy, food plays a, a very central role. So everything, <laughs> everything revolves around food. Either mangiamo, or cuciniamo, or parliamo di mangiare, parliamo di cibo, we talk about food. What are the main meals? We already heard one. Colazione. So what is la colazione? Yes. Then we have il pranzo. Lunch. La merenda. Yes. It's like a mid-afternoon snack, typically. Very important. <laughs> Usually kids do la merenda. I do la merenda. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Mi piace la merenda. <laughs> then, this is like, optional, you might have an aperitivo. Oh, aperitivo. So what is aperitivo? It gets you hungry. Appetite. Appetite. Yeah, it gets you hungry. So, there is, <laughs> so what do we do? Well, before dinner, and maybe if you're on vacation, you can do it also before lunch. You meet with friends at a bar or at someone's house, and you drink a glass of wine, and you eat chips, olives, bruschetta, you know, some little snacks. And this is what we call aperitivo. 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 And it's really aperitivo. Okay. And it's, it's really fun. Uh, it's a fun activity. We can do it here. We can do aperitivo with Coke. We're 21. <laughs> Drink orange juice. <laughs> but uh, it, it's a really nice event because you, you leave, I don't know, you finish school or you finish um, um, work. work and you can uscire con gli amici, esco con gli amici. E bevo l'aperitivo. And as a student, it's particularly fun because essentially you pay for a glass of wine, maybe just a few euros. And with this glass of wine, typically they would give you all kind of food, little food, little snacks, yeah. <laughs> little Sounds pizza. perfect. Yes, yes, I like l'aperitivo. Mi piace l'aperitivo. And finally, la cena. La cena. 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 So, la colazione. colazione. La cena. La cena. La cena. La cena. La cena. La cena. Very good. So if we take a typical pasto, a typical meal, like il pranzo or la cena, we have typically a lot of different courses. I, I listed them here. First time I went to Italy with my husband, we were invited for dinner at some friend's house. And so, well, we started with l'antipasto. Mm, l'antipasto. Then we had uh, a nice uh, dish of pasta per primo. So, il primo. Il primo. The first course was pasta. And, well, ci piace cucinare molto. Mm. Right? Ci piace to us Italian. Ci piace cucinare molto, a lot, in large quantities. So there was a lot of pasta. So he and, ate a lot. And Mike was the <laughs> guest of honor, and everybody was telling him, mangia, 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 mangia. So one dish of pasta, the second dish of pasta, mangia, 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 we need to finish it. Dobbiamo finirlo, we need to finish it. Mangia, mangia, mangia. Another dish of pasta, and then as soon as he finished his last Pizza, pasta. Everybody said, now we can eat pizza. <laughs> Second course. So, il primo typically is pasta, rice, or soup. Il secondo, uh, it can be some meat, bistecca fish, la fiorentina. <laughs> eggs, mm -hmm. yes. Bistecca, steak. Then we have il contorno. Il contorno. Contorno, it's a side dish, vegetables, for example, oh. cheese, and then il dolce. dolce. Il dolce. dolce. What sweet. is il dolce? Ah. Dessert. dessert. Yeah, dessert. Literally, the sweet. The sweet. The sweet. Ah. sweet. So, in our classes, I don't know if you noticed, but during the first four weeks, we were just cooking. Prima. 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 
Today we will start to cook scones. Wow! And then after four weeks we will end with four weeks of desserts. So, oggi cuciniamo le polpette. Le polpette. Le polpette. Le polpette. Le polpette. Le polpette. So, polpette. polpette. We can make polpette di carne, that would be meatballs. Oh. Polpette di tonno, that would be tuna balls. Oh. Polpette di zucchine, that would be oh. zucchine oh. balls. Yeah. So, polpette is every time that you take something, you mince it, you put it together, typically you may add some, uh, um, some bread crumbs, maybe one egg so everything sticks together, a little bit of cheese, you make some little balls, like meatballs, and then you either fry them, or you can bake them, or you can cook them at low heat in a pan, maybe you can add some passata di pomodoro, there are a lot of different options. So, evviva le polpette!